I didn't see the C4 and I was I was pivoting to get like a grab. Anyway, I'll commentate. So I'll do I'll soapbox after this match. All right, so we got Oblivion versus Dix. Um, Dix is re resident MK Slayer with the low tier God. So we saw Dix actually. Most of you, what you guys didn't see, what we saw is in because of uh, Project M happening. Dix double two stocked Boyer's Meta Knight Sam, with Samus. Uh, you can use you can use Rust Johns for Boyer, but he was he was he's been playing like all day, so I'm pretty sure the Rust was gone. He was just trying to relearn matchups. But that is not the point. So we've got Oblivion opening up nice thirty percent lead right now. Creating space with Tornado, and he's properly punishing with grabs, setting up Dix to be in a position that is more beneficial for Obl himself. What Oblivion needs to do is, from what I, my, I learned in my set at Pwn 1 against Dix, you have, you cannot Geonado, for the love of God, you cannot Geonado, because he will punish you with a down tilt, which can kill Meta Knight very early, he can punish you with a down smash, or he can do all of his jab shenanigans. So pulling a Geonado, which is tornado, like just tornado on the shield till you land, is not what you want to do. Oblivion is do what Oblivion is doing right from what I've been seeing is that he's getting all the grabs he needs to when he uh he's getting all the grabs he ha he's been landing and it's help it's helping him uh maintain stage control and it's putting Dix in a bad position to where he has to recover on stage and Samus. Though Samus is very elusive, she does have a very difficult time getting to the stage against Meta Knight. Very nice down smash, and that's in the kill. 85%, so still sitting at a comfortable lead. He has to be wary, though, uh, that up tilt, uh, Samus is up tilt, and all these Zares, these are things that are, can catch Oblivion off guard, and those are ev that's everything that... Ooh! Nice charge shot, very nice DI. And like I was saying... The Zares, the f missiles, and all the other things that Dix is just throwing out there, those are what he's doing to generate himself stage position and give himself an opening to where he can get one of Samus's few kill options. Just like there, he hit, he had the Zare, so I believe it was a Zare that made, uh, and Oblivion missed the tech. So Dix ran up to re make sure, to pressure him into rolling so he could punish properly with that F smash. And he only took about 23%, so he put himself in a good position to where he didn't really, he did not take unnecessary percent. But Dix is going back to the camping game because he's got, he's got the percent lead. So he's just going to sit there, Zare, just fire the missiles. He's a real, he's actually using the weak, like, honing missiles very well. Because those, they linger and they, they follow after the opponent. It sets him up because the person's gonna try and air dodge this thing that's coming towards him, so he can go in there with another Zare, a grab, or even like a charge shot or something that can, something that can actually one of Samus's good like strong moves that can actually get Oblivion into a very uncomfortable position. And while I was talking, ooh, oh man, I thought this was about to di that one. All right, Dix needs. Just get back. He actually needs to do exactly what he did during his second stock, which was just space it out, make pressure Oblivion into doing. Oh, that, that was the type of thing. He, Dix is reading Oblivion's rolls, which is, and he's getting kills out of it, which is exactly what Samus needs. Because Samus needs to, in order for Samus to kill, she has to hit her kill moves at the bet, the only time that she thinks it's gonna work, because. She has so few, she has F smash, she has down tilt, she has down smash, and forward smash, and charge shot. So she has to pick an option to see if it'll kill. It's not like, oh hey, I'm Meta Knight, you know, this is going to kill, this down smash is going to kill. Hey, I'm Samus, let me see if my down smash can kill him right now. And, oh! Oh, I would have actually upbeat out of shield right there. He had it in a perfect position. That we that is one, that is like a Dix combo right there. Weak missile to Zare to grab or something like that. All right, Oblivion's gonna look for a shuttle loop gimp. I'm feeling it. Down tilt. See, that was one of those options where basically Samus rolls the dice to see if. Her, all right, which kill? All right, I'm gonna throw out this kill move. Let's see if it'll kill Meta Knight. Right that is how I lost at Pwn 1. I tried to tornado, and I got charge-shotted. All right.
Oblivion's looking unfazed, which is good. He needs to keep his composure because everybody is going to be behind Dix because one, he's the uh, basically unsung hero right now, and unsung hero, low tier player or low low tier player, low tier character, and a player that is starting to make it just scratch at the surface of becoming one of the best better players in Michigan, and he is doing that right now. And as it stands, the loser of this gets seventh. So these guys are fighting for a chance to 16 exactly. Eight people had the ability to get top five in brawl. Eight out of the 16 had an ability to get had the ability to get top five. Yeah. Everybody, like I said, everybody who made it to winners round two could get second place, or could make it to top five. All right. We got the run back. Starting off with the tornado. He did the Geonado. He did the Geonado, but... Oh! Dix is up 1-0. Got a charge shot. He, Alan pulled the me. Charge shot. <laughs> tornado into the charge shot. Uh-huh. I really need Will to stay here. Yeah. He needs to stay here and play Brawl. Oh Alright. Anyway. The, we're, it's looking really similar to game one right now where stock one was Oblivion. Where Oblivion's trying to just rack up percent to try and get... to Rack up percent in order to go in, grab dicks. And put him and put him off stage so he can give him the shuttle loop and make sure he dies. Oh my god! Well, really with the tech skill. I feel I feel though that those those two shuttle loops were way too telegraphed. Yeah, but it's right. not like punishable. That he should have punished with a forward smash. Well, he wouldn't have known like where he goes. He could have went the behind him and did a forward smash. So it it is it's faster, and but the forward smash would have killed. Him. It would have killed him. Yeah, would have. No, Samus is fast. It was fresh. Samus is so fast. Just mark it. Just mark it on there. Dude, double dodge match does not work. Wait, wait. Do you have to play who? Sam is the one in the green stripe hoodie. In the green stripe shirt. In the purple controller. The up throw. Up throw is like a GTFO move. For Samus? Yeah. So it's like up throw oblivion so he can just charge his shot. For what? Alright. Oh! Ooh. That Dicks, you Dicks's use of oh, oh the down tilt. It, that move is so dangerous. It is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Obli that was good for Oblivion because he needed to end that sock fast with, because uh -oh. Samus, like we said when in doubles, Samus racks up percent fast. Fast, yeah. I think we can figure out that uh, Nato is actually pretty good in this matchup. He is, but one thing he's how he's been Nato, he's been doing the Geo Nato. Can you explain that? The G oh, as I explained to them, but I'll explain okay. to you. The Geo Nato is when you just tornado on shield and land right in them. You oh, land okay. on them, and then they just punish you properly. Good. That was, you know that it, even though he ate that bear, yeah. he SDI'd properly so he wouldn't get stage fight. That was nice. Oh, no. Sam is so good at right now, percent. And this is a matchup Oblivion has no experience in. It's a matchup that barely anybody has experience in. That's you know, I true. Think the only people that would have this experience is like Sago. Or yeah. Yeah. Sago. People in Chicago because of Sago. I know! Some people in California because of Terror Bear. They play Samus too. That's ter 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 Terror Bear just plays everybody. Oh, yeah. That's not the point here. <laughs> The yeah, point is that no Dix is going Sam. full, like going all in right now on Oblivion. Yeah. That was pretty telegraphed shuttle loop. I he had to because that the shuttle loop option right there yeah. was hey I'm gonna kill him or hey I'm gonna send him into a bad position. All right. Oh, you got Dix is so sneaky about getting his charge shots. I know, like most Samus is oh, that's gonna get the kill. The most Samus's are pretty predictable with star shots. Yeah. What's crazy is that Dix, he manages how much he does the charge shot each time. Like, 
sure he'll do the charge shot, but he's only going to put enough because he knows you're going to run in and try and punish him for it. Very nice. All right, stock of champions. Yep. This is Oblivion's tournament life right here. It is. Wow, NATO goes through missiles? Yes. Wow. Not the, uh, the weak ones, not the super. Oh, okay. Ooh, I, I felt like an F-Till should have been there. But it's okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Once Dix gets like a down air on, like up anywhere on Oblivion, it's like oh. an up air, like, yeah, up air, another combo. Very nice down smash. Yeah. There. Up B. Oh! oh. No. Yes! 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 Alright. Oblivion got a little too cocky with that up B. Sago, I hope you're watching. Dicks, 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 dicks. 